Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam and we are going to look at uh, how we can take an audio coming from a microphone which is mono and convert it into a stereo so you get a much richer sound recording along with your YouTube videos. Whenever you are using a like Focusrite box uh, 2x2 or uh, M Audio mobile sound devices they have a mono micro input unless you channel the audio into both the right and the left channels. Let's look at here and I have the audio being recorded here by Camtasia which is the video recording software and uh, I am going to bring up uh, the audacity here to show you what exactly is happening. So as I am talking, I am going to record this audio and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one channel as opposed to being recorded on, on both channels. So let us pause here this particular audio for that moment. Next I am going to highlight, as you can see, there are two channels, the right and the left and of course the left channel is uh, empty. And what I am going to do is I am going to highlight this one and we'll go to track and we'll say convert this uh, stereo track into a mono track. So now we have a mono track. Later on, if I want, I can actually do some audio editing such as uh, compression, equalization, normalization, reverb, echo, all these different things. But for practical purposes, let's just listen to this audio before we go any further. Uh, let me reverse what I was doing. So, Control Z will reverse. So, as you can see, there is audio in the right channel. There is no audio in the left channel. Just let's listen to this one. Okay. So, you saw the audio being recorded in only one channel and the sound coming from the right speaker. So, let's go back and do what we did before. Convert this stereo into mono track. Then we come over here and we say duplicate this track. All right, now we have two tracks. What we can do, the next step would be here is the left and right. So what we are going to do is we make this as uh, left and make this as the right channel. Completely right and completely left. Now let's play this one and see how it sounds. Now you can see the audio is coming from both the speakers. As a result, it looks like the audio is coming right from the center of the monitor. Uh, what I can do is I can increase the amplification here to some degree. Let's go 10 decibels and let's preview this. Audio, and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one Okay, I think I like that one, so let's keep that one there. So now the audio volume has increased. I can go and do some compression if I want to. Some, th this is uh, compression, so th let's just do some compression. See now? This audio, and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one channel as opposed to being recorded on, on both channels. So yes, another thing I can do, as you are seeing here, the audio has some static noise. Once we amplify it, it gets worse. So what we need to do is we go to we take that as a noise reduction. We get that as a noise reduction. So it has got the noise reduction sample. So we're going to highlight both channels. Remove that. We're going to highlight both channels. Then we'll go and tell it to repeat the noise reduction step and uh, it will uh, reduce. Okay, it took away, as you saw, it took away all that uh, uh, noise. Now you see. This audio, and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one channel. Okay, so that looks good and. Uh, now let's proceed to do some other thing and that is we normalize the sound. Every time you do a change, you need to normalize it so that all the peaks and valleys 
are similar to. So as you can see, it normalizes. This audio and see, as now you that can sounds, see here, yeah. that sounds pretty good. What I can do is I can, since this is an audio, if it's a music, I may add some this one. Let's preview some reverb. Or this audio, and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one. Uh, if I'm satisfied, I can click OK and then I can listen to this. Or this audio, and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one channel. Anyway, the reverb is kind of overdone, so I'm going to take that one out by control pressing Control Z. Now or we audio. Now we got a nice sound, rounded audio coming from both channels. So we have two separate tracks. That's not what we want. We want to can make this into a single track. So we go to tracks, you say mix and render to new track. Okay, we'll just watch it. Okay, now here in the bottom we have right and left channels. Remember, there's only one track here as opposed to two tracks. So we delete these two tracks now from the top. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have two track stereo audio with the right amount of amplitude we want or this audio and as you can see here the audio recording is recorded in only one channel as opposed to being recorded on on both channels so let us pause here let me minimize this so there you go that's how we do it but I'm, before i go i'm going to play the first recording of the audio in a mono channel then the effect of uh, converting that into a stereo with some sound effects. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am Dr. Nick Nickham and you're watching uh, Triple N Media. Thank you. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Thank you. Audio and as you can see here, the audio recording is recorded in only one channel as opposed to being recorded on, on both channels. So let us pause here. Right amount of amplitude we want or this audio and as you can see here the audio recording is recorded in only one channel as opposed to being recorded